Hello, St. Luke's. I want to start by saying how amazing Advent and Christmas Eve have been. In all my years of ministry, I can honestly say St. Luke's knows how to do Christmas. What a blessing to be able to celebrate Jesus's birth inside this year. I will not take that for granted anymore at all. And on that note, I have some updates for you about how we will be worshiping and gathering during the current spike in cases we are seeing with the Omicron variant. I am so delighted and grateful to announce that we will not be closing down or going completely virtual right now. However, we will have to scale back quite a bit until things calm down. All through this pandemic, we have made decisions using data points and a spreadsheet to figure out how many people can safely be in a room based on virus infection rates, aerosol transmission, room ventilation, and vaccination rates. And this has worked so well to keep us safe. So we will continue to use this spreadsheet until we don't have to use it anymore. What a great day that will be. But since it is based on current case counts, we will not be able to support hundreds of people in worship for a little while. Therefore, the Board of Trustees, staff, and clergy have decided the following. We will only have one worship service at 9 a.m., which will continue to be both in-person and live-streamed. We expect this might stay this way into February, but we will keep you posted on when we will return the 1030 service. We also will go back to RSVP signups for worship so we can ensure we stay within our limits for each Sunday. The signup link will be available each Friday so we can use the most up-to-date numbers in our spreadsheet. The number of seats we can have available for each Sunday will most likely change each Friday so please know things may fluctuate for a while and that some Sundays we may only be able to support 20 people beyond those who help lead the service. But 20 is better than none, and I am counting my blessings. We are prioritizing worship, children, and youth during this temporary setback. So confirmation and the pray program will begin as scheduled, but we'll make some timing and room adjustments. If you are involved with either confirmation or pray, please look for a separate email from Jake Smith and or Sharon Oliver. January 9th is King Sunday, so it will be a family worship service, which means there is no Sunday school. Children will stay with their parents in worship. Starting January 16th, Sunday school and the nursery will also require an RSVP signup, which will also be available each Friday. And finally, we all decided a long time ago that St. Luke's is the most amazing faith community. Therefore, I am honored to be a part of it. And I am confident we will get through this temporary setback, just like we've gotten through everything else. Thank you, each of you, for your love, support, and dedication to God, to St. Luke's, and to each other. We are Team St. Luke's. Have a great week.